Tomorrow is community day. Yay. I'm going to hand out at the end of class where your official assignments are. Um, and that these slips are where you're going to be going. We're going to be ending uh, seventh period. What's up? We're going to be ending soon, uh, seventh period about a half hour early so we can talk about community day. Um, 2.50, that's the main time. Who's in the high school during that period? Okay, if, if the announcement does not come over at the high school and I'm going to work on getting it over to the high school, you may leave it at 2.50. If you have any, I'm going to try and send out a mass email, let all the teachers know that 2.50, you need to come back here to figure out what, where you're going to be for tomorrow, what your responsibilities are for tomorrow. Questions? Where do you go? Wait, 250 today? Everything on here, and I'm going to hand these out at the end of the class, is going to have a, I can show this first because this is a sixth grade. It's going to have a Thursday day. I don't know, he has a problem. He has a, can you see that, right? Thursday. Right. Yeah. So it's going to show you where you're going. This one says school garden, wild mile. That's where this person will be assigned. On Thursday, it says meet at, and then this says lobby. So if you meet down in the lobby, they'll talk about it. Some of them say meet in the home ec room, Miss Barrett's room. Some say meet in 203. It's this room. Believe it or not, I know this may sound mind blowing because the earlier classes couldn't believe it. Every single one of these rooms had a number. Whoa. Right? I know. I think it's like a number. Some, of, some of the students were like, well, which one's 201? That one? 203. Miss Bessons is 205. That's 202. I can see it from here. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, so, the idea with today is at the end of seventh period, that's when we're going to be going over all everything you're going to need to know for tomorrow. Questions about any of that? Okay, sorry. Yeah. 250 today, we go to the place on our paper. Good morning, Big Fork Middle School. Please rise and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, everybody having a wonderful day so far. Pretty much a quick announcement today. Today is Thursday, May 28th. National Day is National Work Kit Day. From our state, we will be having pizza. And then eighth graders, please see Ms. Baird at lunch if you haven't got your picture taken for graduation. Otherwise, you will not be able to graduate. Just kidding. But seriously, please go see her. And then activity night is tomorrow. We need your permission slip in to Ms. Besson by 3.30 today, or you cannot come to activity night. And when, if you do indeed go to activity night, bring your own chairs and blankets if you want them. And then thank you for the additional s'more donation. So you can keep on bringing those in, and it's amazing if you do. So nothing else today but cheer tryouts June 3rd. You can see the posters in the hallway and look at those. So nothing else today. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. All right, so any questions for Community Day? Um, what is going to be happening at the end of today? Sorry about this quick thing. Your books will be sold at the office and at lunch. But if you do not see her at lunch, then come to the office. We have a ton left. They are twenty dollars, so please come get your yearbook. Thank you. Exactly. We're all going to be meeting here, no matter what. School starts at eight, so we all want to get here at eight anyway. But it'll tell you what time they plan on leaving. Some of us will be taking buses up to Columbia Falls, Kalispell, all that. So that's why it's very important to make sure we know what time that we have to have to be here. Because if you get here late and you're taking one of the buses and the bus is already gone without you, then you're gonna instead of going up to what your first one of your first two choices are, it's gonna be doing stuff around here. Um, yes, Margaret. So when the bell rings on Friday tomorrow. We will go up to our place. When the bell, what, yes, so normally it would be whatever your first period class is. Tomorrow, it's not going to be going to your first period class.
Tomorrow is going to be, okay, we're going to go to room 203 if you're going to Lakeview. Mm -hmm. um, 201, if, or if you're going to, I think Columbia Falls are meeting in the auditorium, uh, sure. lunch room, cafeteria, or something like that. But it'll all say it on uh, those forms. Would you want them now, or would you, are we going to lose them between now and now? Now, now, now. Because I feel like we're talking about the master do it, right? Yeah. All right. So, yeah. if you lose these, you won't know where to go. It's not good. What if we memorize it? Granted, do you have your permission slip? Yep. Nate. Mm -hmm. Tyler. If you lose it, well, it's not good. Ansley. So, uh, some of them, like for Lakeview Care Center, I am doing that. No matter what, it's just going to be in here tomorrow morning. All right. Elizabeth. So no matter what, it's just going to be 203 mark for, for example, uh, or just maybe. Some of them only have like, one room.
94 times 10 to the negative 2. For the warm up, for the warm up. Brayden. Oh, point negative 1. Nice, Brayden, come up with a problem. Um, that you'll be able to do as well. Okay. Joseph, what you get? Five thousand two hundred fifty. Ah, Joseph, you want to come up with a problem? You're allowed to. All right, let's do. Come up with one with a letter.
we're just going to do a quick review. Um, I want to do example problems on the main things that we definitely want to focus on uh, for the quiz coming up. Because I know that packet, that class worksheet that we've been working on, it's hard. It's brutal. You guys are doing so awesome on it, though. And I know it's kind of hard to do a worksheet and keep working on it. I'm going around the room. You guys are doing so well on it. So um, we're going to continue on that. Next week, we're, well, we're going to do this review. We're going to continue on until this time. And then next week, we're going to go on to this worksheet, which going from the one that we're working on to this one, might, this one might seem much easier. Sweet. All right. Any questions on that? Yes? This is the quiz going to be as hard as this worksheet. I haven't decided. I haven't made it up. should be easy. Yes, of course. Uh, are we doing my side today? No. Are we doing? I wanted to do a review. I thought that this because I went through most of I went through our star scores. Right. 
Wine for yourself. Spray the other thing for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Breathe in. I need to say it one more time. You're going to be sitting right up here. Actually, I'll have you sit right in the middle with a clipboard. All right? I know we can do this. All right. This is also called the slope intercept. Intercept. Slope or intercept equation or form. Have we seen, because I know that was actually a question, what is slope intercept for? This is all the same thing. Are we okay with that idea? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's look at some problems. Uh, given. Given. <laughs> given slope. Equals uh, four and y intercept negative two. Write the equation of a line. Oh, sweet. I get it. <laughs> I've only done about twenty thousand times. So Carson, since you're a pro, you're a master, you're pro, you've got this in the bag. What would the answer be? Y equals 4 over 1x plus negative 2. 4 over 1x plus negative 2. I love that you said 4 over 1 matches 4. Nice. Are we alright with that? You've seen that before. Mm -hmm. um, the next one that I want to do is find the equation of a line. And it's going to be similar to this. Can I erase this? Yeah. Equation of a line, find the equation of a line I want you to write this down a little bit. Find the equation of the line Yes. Plus 4. A 
start out on the worksheet as I come up with it. Are we alright with that idea? We're all right. I want you now to make a, gra a graph sketch. Oh no. So like a coordinate axis, a y axis and x axis. It's got to be a little bit better than that. I don't know what you can do, but spend a couple more minutes on that for So here's my x and y, and I'm going to want you to make this exact line. And if you need some support on what points these are, because you can't see, I'll write some points that are on this line. So what do we get? Great. Uh, Carson, I spoke with you already. Anton, <laughs> what did you do? I got y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 3. Good job, Anton. That's exactly it. Plus, all right, now explain me how you got that. Uh, sum of y intercepts is 3. Right, so that's a great way to start. Y intercept is 3, so what I would be writing right away is b equals 3. Just so I don't forget. Nice, and then what'd you do? And then from that point, I went down 3 and over to the right 2 to get to the nearest. Perfect. We don't know how to do that, Carson. You made this a hood. Down 3, so since you went down, it's a positive or negative. Maybe. Right. And then which way? Over to the right 2. Perfect. So then, since we know that, then we know that the equation is y equals negative 3 over 2 x. Plus three. Let's try. Did we all get that? Good. Good. I'm not doing the margarita. <laughs> love that you know, I'm stuck in my head. And I love that we're able to do the margarita. But I don't know. You want to do it at lunch? No. You sure? I will. It's not the time you did it. You did it. No, <laughs> sir, you're going to try that again. Oh, man. All right, then we're going to look at three more. We're going to try and find the equation of a line. So I want you to write that all out again. Find equation of line. Find equation of a line through. Um, what I'm doing, guys, is I'm taking everything we've learned so far and putting it all together. 
Yes, ma'am. The Y one. Why? Because. We. So you just see two points. Maybe it's like, hey, I don't know how to. I like where you're going with it, Meredith. First, all right, Meredith. What's what are we looking for? Uh. So. Well, well, what's the goal? What are we trying to find? Uh, find. The equation of a line. Perfect. So let's write down an equation of a line again. Yes. Meredith, what is that? Uh, y equals m x plus b. Y equals m x. Plus b, with m being slope. All right. Do we know how to find the slope of a line through two points? Meredith, you were just saying what it was. What was it? Y two minus y one over x minus. So you may write that. Now, why don't you guys calculate the slope? Thank you. 
Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. All right. If you feel that you're able to sit up straight, and you're more than welcome to go back. We're just going to stay, stay focused, buddy. All right. Table. Let's make the x values. Give me a number again, Tom. Seven. Seven. Can I go to five? Thank you. Thank you. And Anton, now I'm going to use your seven. Is that cool with you? Perfect. Seven. Uh, ten. Thirteen. Sixteen. Nineteen. So we have 7, 10, 13, 16, 19 for the Y, and on your X, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Find the equation of a line. Actually, first, is this, is this linear? Yes. Why? Because it has a constant rate of change. Perfect, nice. This is linear. And Brandon said it's a constant rate of change. How do you know it's a constant rate of change? Uh, because the change in between each number is the exact same as the 10. So what's the changes in the y axis? 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. But the only thing I want to say, are we gaining or losing? We go, I'm sorry, I'm not making that game wrong. Are we going up or are we going down? Down. So what should I go? So let's put negative, 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 negative. And then what you notice about the y is That we go up by 3. Upside three. Nice. Now, what's the equation of a line? Well, let's we'll start off how we always start off. Y equals mx plus b. We're just 
just going further away from zero. But zero is right in here. So if this goes up by two, or down by two, and this goes up by four, if I just want to go up by one here, how much am I going to go up on this one? Two. Can we see my words? Yes. So, or hear my words? So, if I were to say, okay, here's my negative one, 12, I want zero. I'm going to extend the table. I'm going to squeeze it in there. Well, then, that's where you might when they lift their head up. That's where you want to squeeze in zero. So if you go up by one, then you go up by two. Hello? So that's a great question. Great. So, and I think Brandon was saying, well, you can reduce. This ends up being 4 over 2, which is just the same as saying 2 over 1. So if we change by 1, then this would have to change by 2. Because you reduce. Alright, last one. Word problem. I want you to write out the whole thing. to rent a kayak for this upcoming Saturday. The rental company told you that it would cost $34 to rent, plus an additional three bucks for every hour you rent it. I want you to write everything down. Kayak. That's pretty good spelling. I think it's right. K-A-Y-A-C. It looks weird, doesn't it? It's backwards.
don't have to write it, but I want you to just do it. An equation for this. Equation. Now, I want you to take five minutes, work with your table, get the equation, get the graph. Can I move? Work with your table. Oh, you work with us No, don't murder my grapes. They mean everything to me. Wow, that's a low self-esteem. <laughs>
So then another one was three. And then it should look something like this.